Hello and welcome to what is a beautifully sunny day here in Dublin for the Rock and Roll Half Marathon. One of 24 taking place in this series, the last in Chicago next July. Rock and roll bands marking every mile along the course. So let's get to two people who like a bit of rock and roll music, our commentary team of Dick Hooper and Will Downing. Yes, today's music ain't got the same soul. The second rock and roll Dublin half marathon, doubling as the Irish half marathon championship. Won last year by Mark Christie and Lizzie Lee. Neither here this year. Lizzie with a good excuse. She had her first child during the year. Congratulations to you. But we do have slashed some guns and roses as someone who looks like him. Among the 7,500 field involved in this and the fun run today, a very strong elite list got overall from Britain, Tyler McCandless from the United States and strong Irish entries in both the men's and the women's. So 13 plus miles that starts on the North Wall Quay and spreads along the quays of Dublin before heading to the Phoenix Park and ending very close to Orison Uthoron and Chesterfield Avenue. Well, it is an absolutely wonderful sight here. This mass of humanity stretching all the way back towards the O2, the old Point Depot here in Dublin's Docklands. And it does stretch an impressive amount back. But at the front, this is where all the action's going to be today. And we're expecting an awful lot of the Irish athletes this morning, Dick Hooper. Yeah, well, it's a very nice morning. It's absolutely ideal for running. There's no wind, nice and warm, low 60s. Uh, good course and a very good Irish field, as you say, headed up by Mick Clahussie, the national 10,000 metre and cross country champion. Uh, Sergio Cabano, a well-known protagonist on the roads. Freddie Caron, Sitok from Kenya running for Rahini today. And Brian McMahon, look, they look the pick of the Irish squad. And in there, two very good visitors. Scott Overall from the UK, a 61 minute half marathoner. And, and Tyler McCandless from the US. Yeah. And they are up at the front already. Scott Overall is in the orange singlet and in the white and green of Rahini going through. We could just see uh, Freddie Curran there, interesting athlete who has also done particularly well this weekend. He's won a race this weekend, Dick. He finished second in a 5K up in Carlingford on Friday night. And that wasn't enough for him. He ran the steeplechase in the National League yesterday and he won. And so here he is on his third race in four days. Well, there's a massive fun contingent. There is a fun run which is on after this at the Phoenix Park. But in the orange, it's got overall. And in the lime green, Tyler McCandless. And in the background, there's a television sports channel there. The headquarters you can just see. In the white singlet with the green as well, famously Rahini, Mick Lohasey. And just behind the likes of Crusaders and yeah. uh, Black Hall trying to make their way up. The female athletes, well, they're just beginning to emerge. You can see in the red singlet there is Natasha Adams of Lifford, and alongside her in the green of Dundrum South Dublin, Sarah Mulligan. And there's a good chance we'll be seeing a lot of her in the next few weeks. Yeah, this is Sarah's debut in a half marathon. She is a runner who has improved in leaps and bounds over the last couple of years and become a really significant national player. And here she is making her debut in a half marathon. So wearing 10 is Scott Overall alongside him, Mick Clossie, who's won two national titles so far this year, the cross country and the 10,000 meters in the track at Santry a few weeks ago. And up at the front of the women's race, making the way towards the south bank of O'Connell Bridge, Sarah Mulligan, who's in the Irish team, along with Barbara Sanchez and Fanula Britton. Both Sarah and Fanula drafted into the team for the European Championship Marathon in Zurich next week. And alongside her at the front, Natasha Adams making the way towards Kilmainham now. Lots of bands around here, you'll see. We're at the three mile marker and we've got a nice breakaway of around six leading the way in this half marathon. And now as they make their way under Christchurch, the thousands finding it an uphill experience right now, but also you'll see Eilish Malone coming through of Clonlip Harriers, and she's around third or fourth in the women's race and also going well up there, uh, looks to be uh, Fanula Bross of Armagh, but our four leaders in the men looking very comfortable. The pace is very good, very honest from the start, sub five minute miling, which is exactly where you want to see the likes of Mick Clahussie and Freddie Curran competing in that type of company. I'm delighted that they brought in a couple of visitors to spice things up. And these are two quality visitors. 
Scott Overall is a 210 marathoner. He ran it in Berlin a couple of years ago. He was on the UK team for the London Olympics. He underperformed there. So disgusted was he with his underperformance, he took himself off to Fuoka in Japan the following December and got back down to 214. He's coached by Alan Storey. Who is Alan Storey? Alan Storey is the coach of one Sonia O'Sullivan when she won her silver medal. So he's good pedigree, has this young man, Scott Overall. And Nora Newcomb, well, she's used to half marathons. She's uh, won the Rivermoy half marathon twice in Ballina. Well, now making her way through, wearing 1310 is Cathy McCourt. Cathy in the top five at the moment, and we're seeing Fanula Ross and Nora Newcomb as well, but two very good athletes in the club scene, Fanula from Armagh, Nora from Ballina, and Cathy McCourt, who's also from up north from Lurgan. Good strides. Cathy is coached by Joe Haveron, a, a renowned marathon coach in the north, and she's had a torrid time with injury lately, so she's, she's just back, and it's great to see her running so well, as it is to see Ailish Malone of Clonliffe Harriers, who's now moved strongly okay. into third place. Ailish is running very well this year. She took a very good run in the Fingal 10K there recently, so she's in PB shape, I would reckon. Yes, just passing the side of Guinnesses alongside Houston Station, our two ladies' leaders, Sarah Mulligan, who finished 44th in Belgrade in the European Cross Country Championships last Christmas. She was the fourth Irish scorer as Ireland were defending the team title they'd won in Budapest the year before, alongside her in the red of Lifford, Natasha Adams. But we've got four men ahead of the rest. Scott Overall in second place, behind Tyler McCandless from Boulder, Colorado, formerly of Penn State. And behind them, the two Rahini Shamrock boys, Mick Lahasey and Freddie Kerry. We're in Chapel Lizard now, and I, th I suspect we're going to see a bit of action soon because they'll come around the corner and there will be the Chapel Lizard gate inviting them into the Phoenix Park. And that invitation comes with a price, the hill up to the by uh, St. Brendan's Hospital. So it's going to be tough when they get in there. I suspect there'll be a bit of sorting out. Well, the music goes on back the course around Kilmainham, where so many hundreds are still, but we find the leading ladies passing also. Wonderful sight, so many tourist attractions that our field of six and a half thousand are being brought around this morning. But one of the great attractions, the Phoenix Park, and it's our four leading men of McCandless, Overall, Clohessy and Kerrin, and they have a unique musical soundtrack themselves. This is Mick Clohessy's fourth half marathon this year. He ran 65-38 in Barcelona, which was a breakthrough for him. He's won one in Vienna and he, he ran another 66, 67 minutes in Copenhagen. So Mick has designs on moving up to the marathon. He has it in him to be a very, very good marathon runner. So at the moment, he's learning his trade. And this is a good lesson he's getting. He's in there with two experienced distance runners, marathon runners, and I'm delighted to see him mixing, mixing it in that company. Well, we can see a gap now. Freddie Caron has been dropped back slightly. Scott overall in the orange for Britain. Blackheath and Bromley around London. He's only 31 years old. Tyler McCandless from the United States. We're talking about two very good serious marathon runners here, but you go back to fourth place, and that's where Freddie Caron is, his club colleague from Rahini in third, Mick Lohasey. And a little gap now developing between the front two and the rest. In terms of the women's race, That's Maria Dolan there of Ratfarnham running a very fine race. Maria is uh, in the Masters category and she's chasing a, a time around the 85 minute mark. Well, the field spread right across Dublin at this stage for the 13 plus miles, which finish at the Phoenix Park. Third place for Ailish Maloney. She's trying to keep up with the leading two, uh, Sarah Mulligan and Natasha Adams. And Natasha Adams had a bit of an injury coming into this. Ailish Malone doing her best to get into the podium right now. Behind her, Nora Newcomb, Fanula Ross and Cathy McCourt. Ailish, of course, very familiar with this area around here. She lives in Kilmainham and she trains all the time in the Phoenix Park. Great to see her running so well today. Well, Natasha Adams has slipped back into second place as so Sarah Mulligan takes the lead. But she'll be doing her best to try and get herself on the podium today. Well, Natasha Adams from Lifford, she's a coach by Theresa McDade who's been uh, responsible for Mike English for a lot of his career, uh, training partner of Irish International, and Marie McGlynn also. Yeah, Natasha's run some really good times lately, 58 minutes for 10 miles, 78 minutes for the half marathon, so she's tough, she's competitive in there. I do know she's had a bit of an injury, but at the moment she looks like she's full of running. I like the way that the 
Christian names are on the singlet. The personal touch is there. Well, she's doing very well in second place right now. She'll be drumming up a lot of enthusiasm if she can manage to get onto the podium today. Now coming around the corner by the band, Ailish Malone of Clonleaf Harriers in third place in the women's race. That's Brian Kelly of Rohini and Fiona Stack there behind. And further on up the Phoenix Park, heading towards the Furry Glen. Look at the lead now for Scott Overall and Tyler McCandless. Yeah, we're coming down the Khyber Pass now, one of the fastest areas on the course. A good one, one mile stretch downwards. And I noticed that Freddie Curran Sitok is running very freely down the hill and he's actually, he looked like he was dropped at one stage, but now he's closing up very close to the leader, so don't write him off yet. And now they've got company in fifth place. Sergio Chiubanu, can he make it onto the podium? So it's the rock and roll double and half marathon with two leaders of the men's race, Scott Overall, in the gold singlet for Britain from Blackheath and Bromley and Tyler McCandless in the lime green from the United States, Boulder, Colorado. Yeah, the race has really opened up now with our two visitors. They look like they've broken Mick Clahossi. He's desperately trying to hang on. He's still running very well, but the fact that the elastic has stretched there puts him under a lot of pressure, especially with the two boys working together. Here's Sarah Mulligan in her first half marathon. So Sarah's about to hit new territory now. She's coming up to maybe the 10 mile mark and she's out on her own. She's never been here before, so she's got to get this experience of the, of the gathering fatigue that a long distance race brings. Sarah, it's now known, has been picked for the marathon in two weeks time in Zurich. And so she's, she's got to learn pretty quick because in two weeks time, she's to run double this distance. Yes, herself and Fanula Britain, and Fanula also has the 10,000 meters to do as well, but it didn't do John Tracy any bad in 1984 he managed to do both and managed to walk away run away from LA with a medal and running away with it right now Scott overall Tyler McCandless looking quite decent we're in the final two miles or so and it's between these two for gold and silver now as Mick Lossie battles with his club mate Freddie Karen Sittuk for the third spot on the podium and the Irish national title they're both with Irish clubs, so they are both going for the Irish Half Marathon Championship. These two going for the rock and roll title. Yeah, this is a great battle now. Um, the hammer is really down, and um, it's UK versus USA. UK being the protagonist here. Scott overall is the faster man. On paper, he's two minutes faster than Tyler McCandless, but Tyler's running really well and hanging in there, so it, this may come down to a kick yet. We've got live music at every mile marker. Well, she's still going very strongly here, Natasha Adams of Lifford, but we are getting reports out in the course that her injury flared up very early on in this race, but she's still going. Can she reach the end? The finish is very closely in sight, but right now, Sarah Mulligan isn't. Yeah, Sarah's impressive here. She's very smooth. She doesn't look distressed at all. And as I said, in her first, in her first half marathon, it's a whole new experience for her. So she. She'll be happy with this. I don't think she's at full tilt. Well, Maria McCambridge pulled out. Nicola Duncan injured for the European Championship Marathon in Zurich. News, by the way, we're hearing that Zoe Brown, unfortunately, is out of the pole vault. She's had a great year, but she's out through injury as well, having competed in the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow and having competed brilliantly in London 2012 in the marathon, having qualified in Berlin got the A standard there in 2011 did Scott overall and he's aiming for the Berlin Marathon again in a few weeks here it's him and McCandless and McCandless with a slight lead and Mick Lossi in third place here. Yeah Mick is Mick really has settled for third at this stage he's still running very well but he's not going to get back at those two boys because the fact that they're racing each other will keep the momentum up there Freddie Caron slightly distant fourth and Sergio Cabano running strongly as he always does in fifth position the Moldovan with Conor Parias, who has been the Irish Marathon champion on occasion. Well, he's heading for the podium at the moment. He's fifth overall. He's third 
in the Irish Marathon title race and Sarah Mulligan looks as if she's going to take both titles, the overall here today and the Irish half marathon title also. It's been a wonderful year for Mick Clahossi, national cross country champion, national 10,000 metre champion and now looks like he will be the national half marathon champion. A hat trick, I don't think it's been done in the one year before. I know Vinnie Mulvey would have that set of titles as well but for a man to do it in the one year is exceptional. Well, at the shorter distances, Kelly Proper has taken four at a time, but certainly nothing as long as this. We've got just over a mile to go, and there's been a big break here. Tyler McCandless is fighting hard in second place, but he's well behind Scott Overall, who will be the overall winner today. He looks very, very impressive. He's got a stride very much up, and he's treating this almost now as a training run ahead of Berlin in a couple of weeks' time. Well, eight weeks' time. Well, he's really run well today, Scott, and he's going to bring it home in a strong pace, low 65 minutes it looks. Just testimony to the course that it might be tough enough because a man like Scott Overall running as well as he appears to be running today, you would expect him to be running about two, two and a half minutes faster than this. Uh, and uh, in terms of effort, I think that's what it is. So maybe there is a little bit of toughness in that course, as was rumoured. What has helped is the very fine conditions. Isn't it wonderful to look down the straight and see Mick Clahossi so close to company as good as this? This can only be good for Mick's confidence and development as he looks towards the marathon in the years ahead. Great Scott. Scott overall wins the Rock and Roll Dublin Half Marathon for 2014. A very good triumph, a very fast time. He has done impressively as has Tyler McCandless from Boulder, Colorado, who will take second place for the United States. And he wasn't too far behind in the end, a margin of around 20, 25 seconds. Mick Lossie behind him in third place. McCandless will take second, and there'll be a couple of Rahini Shamrock men in third and fourth. Yeah, and there is a team race in this, so Rahini are chasing a title that they won a few years ago. Freddie Caron, he's a very popular man around the streets of Rahini, and great run by Freddie in fourth place. He did very, very well indeed to take fourth spot. He'll be second in the national championship and third in the national championship will be Sergio Ciobanu of Clonliffe Harriers. He will be fifth overall and sixth will be his club colleague Brian McMahon and that's fourth in the Irish championship. So now we'll be looking for the third man across the line from either of those clubs because it looks like that's where the national title will rest. Well, we're going back out the course. Owen Flynn, seventh place for Ruth Farnham, and Keith Shields, eighth for Foyle Valley overall. But now, looking very impressive is Sarah Mulligan, as she pretty much has been all day. Natasha Adams from Lifford has pulled out, unfortunately, late on in the race. The injury just got the better of her, I fear. Yeah, Natasha was always doubtful. You take a chance when you're going into the race and you hope everything will be all right on the day. It looked all right on the day for a long way for Natasha, but with about three miles to go, her legs seemed to buckle and she was in big time trouble. But it is great to see Sarah Mulligan running so well. Maybe we have a new star. The eagle-eyed among you will recognise the pale. Big hits over the last 20 years and Sarah Mulligan being a big hit today. It'll be her second major championship in Zurich coming up this summer and she makes her way towards the finish line competed in Belgrade last Christmas in the European Cross Country Championships Zurich awaits her now and victory in Dublin she'll be the rock and roll Dublin half marathon champion and she's the Irish half marathon champion too at the first attempt Sarah Mulligan how well she's done Oh, she looked very comfortable there. Maybe she's found her distance. Her coach, Chris Jones, was adamant and is adamant that he, he, here is a great marathon runner in the making. She just has that, that whole package that goes with steady running, strong running, and a mind that goes with it as well. And we're watching Ailish Malone crossing the line just now from Clonliffe Harriers as she takes the silver medal. And in the white and red, Nora Newcomb from Ballina, who regularly wins marathons in the West, is going to take the bronze medal today. Mayo athletes have a wonder, women athletes in particular, have a wonderful record in this particular championship, the half marathon. So Nora is the latest in a long line of Mayo women to pick up a national medal. And in fourth place in the blue and green of Armagh is Fanula Ross. Just misses out the podium, but she's had a marvellous race today, as so many thousands still are having throughout the course, right through the Phoenix Park. Personal races being run, left, right and centre, some are done. 
and some have got a great athletics career ahead of them. So Scott overall takes the title in Dublin. He had 18 seconds to spare over Tyler McCandless with Mick Clohessy in third place, Freddie Kerr in fourth, Sergio Chibano in fifth and those three take the podium in the Irish Half Marathon Championship. Sarah Mulligan takes the women's crown and in the end she was four minutes clear of Ailish Malone with Nora Newcomb in third, Fanula Ross fourth, Cathy McCourt fifth. The real significance of that is Sarah Mulligan who's been a journey woman for many years while all the DSD women stars were picking up the awards. She's come true now, she's won her, for, won her first national title, a good one, a half marathon and now here she is off to the European Championships. And overall we had a worthy winner. Um, yeah, today wasn't so much about the time, more, you know, I came here, focus on the position and just get a decent racing before um, the Berlin Marathon at the end of September. Just talk us through, how difficult is it to go from a half marathon to a marathon or is there much difference at all? <laughs> oh, the half marathon's a lot easier. Um, you know, the half marathon is good preparation for the marathon, um, just gives me an idea of sort of where I am in the, in the build up to, to Berlin, which is about another eight weeks away. What do you do between now and then? Um, a lot more training, um, I might do a shorter race, maybe a 10 mile race or a 10k, um, but yeah, mainly it's just a lot of training uh, before Berlin. I knew it was going to be a tough, tough course coming into Phoenix Park, was I knew it was going to be hard with the hills and that, but uh, no, happy with third and to, to get the national title as well was my aim, so, and I uh, broke 66 minutes, which was a bonus on a course like that, so yeah, happy, happy all around. You mentioned there the hills as you came into Phoenix Park, how was the course, how did you find it? Um, well, I, I, I expected it to be to be tough because I, I know this park so well and I kind of know all these hills so um, no it was tough the, the last few miles I could really feel it and um, it's only really when you get to six miles you get into the park that, and you really get into the hills that it, it, you start to really feel it. Oh, it was perfect conditions for it and um, no winds no rain compared to yesterday and Saturday so and the course was good I really enjoyed the course I thought it was, it was good. Yeah. How do you find it when you know the weather's pretty bad leading up to the event? How do you prepare for it? Um, well, you're kind of you're used to training in, in in Ireland with the weather being it can be miserable anyway, so it was okay. I wasn't too worried anyway. The weather was going to be bad. And you're next off to Zurich. How much are you looking forward to those European Championships? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. It's a big major championships. Um, something I'd always want to compete at at such a high level. So the next two weeks now, we've just. Uh, kind of taping down for it. So. 49 countries represented, thousands of runners here at the Rock and Roll Half Marathon in Dublin. What happened in the end? Well, it was a Briton who won the men's race, Scott Overall, coming in in a time of just over one hour and five minutes. In the women's race, it was someone a bit more local. Dundrum South Dumplings, Sarah Mulligan won the women's event. She's off to the European Championships in Zurich next month. Well, Garth Brooks was supposed to be playing here recently. His concert was cancelled. The people who came for the country, they stayed for the rock and roll. Until next time, bye for now.